Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft and we are just continuing my project of making sure that I swatch all the inks that I have uh, as some sort of like a journal entry so I can check when I receive them and I can also see the evolution of my collection. But at the same time, I am also creating uh, stickers to put on top just like what I did with uh, this ink. Okay, this has become Fish's Matcha. So that I don't need to uh, take out these uh, vials from their container, I can just look at the top and figure out if that is the color that I am looking for. I can, of course, always refer to this too, so it kind of helps me. So uh, today I am going to swatch just three inks. Um, all of these are sample vials from inkshare.id. This is a... Um, this is a shop on Tokopedia. Uh, they have really uh, good products. I super recommend them. This is not a paid um, video. This is just me sharing the information. If you live in Jakarta, you're looking for fountain pen, fountain pens, fountain pen inks, fountain pen accessories. Um, one of the shops that you can go to, and I have two uh, favorite ones, when it comes to fountain pens, but one of them is inkshare.id. And so I found these sample vials from them. I, I've stopped a little bit on getting bottles if I can get samples because I don't really know if I like the color until I've tried them out. Um, and so what I did was I got these three samples. One is diamond or diamond or diamine. I call it diamond, mangus, um, this is supposed to be a Malaysian exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, then we have, oh, here's another one. This is the Amin Shimmer Pink Champagne. I want to see how that one looks. And finally, I have the Tremantis Rose. Okay, I also want to see how that looks. I want to sort of... Um, match it with my ruby red Caveco, but uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like, um, which ink was that? I kind of like this one, the dragon fruit for the ruby red Caveco, but we'll see. Okay, okay let's start with the diamonds. Okay, this is the demon Mangus. Let me give it a little bit of a shake. I've forgotten if this has a shimmer or sheen. Ooh, look at that. It's like already a bright red. Okay. Oh, wow. It's a very deep red. Let me just ooh, move you a bit closer. This definitely looks like the color of mangosteen. I think this is, in fact, what they were going for because in Indonesian, mangosteen is mangus. And I, there's a lot of similarities between the Malaysian language and the Indonesian language. So I think that's the color they were going for. It's very pretty. All right. This is the demon mangus. Very pretty, actually. Let me make a swab as well, so I can put it on top. All right. Okay, this is very pretty. Very nice. Let's see how it is. Let me shade. Yeah. Okay, this is a very nice, like, burgundy, like, almost, actually, now that it's drying up, it looks more like a dark purple-pink than a red. Okay. Very nice. Alright, let's uh, remove that. Okay, there's a lot of ink left on the... 
brass nib for that. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to get this. The sticker does not do it justice at all. It kind of looks almost like a black on this sticker. But, yeah. I guess if you put against the light, you see that it's not really a black. <laughs> and just like the fruit, it leaves a lot of the ink um, on the paper and the... Okay. Oops, I forgot to write the date again. Uh, I always forget to write it. Okay, so this was uh, 6th of December. I'm gonna just use another pen to write that in. Okay, so this was bought on the 6th of December. Let me write that somewhere. Okay. So that is the Mangus. Now, Oh, almost at the awnings part. Okay. I actually think this is in the wrong place, but I think I'm going to leave it there. Alright. Let me go ahead and put this here. And then let's do two more. Uh, Demon Shimmer Pink Champagne. Oops. Alright. Shake it a bit. I think this one has shimmer if I'm not mistaken. Okay. go great before I forget make sure I have a label for it okay and then this is demon shimmer pink Champagne. Okay, and this was purchased on the 6th of December 2022. Okay, let me just see if it works. Okay, doesn't look half bad. Pink champagne. And let me see. Looks a little bit like, but well, it's a bit redder than dragon fruit. Yeah, dragon fruit still a very nice pink. Pink champagne looks a bit redder. I don't see the shimmer. Maybe when it dries, I'll see it more. How does it compare with Celebration? Celebration is like a bit more orange, but it's not far off. Okay, let me make sure I have the label on it because that is the point of this exercise. Okay, will it match? Ruby red, I suppose it might. Okay, but my bet is still on dragon fruit. Because it's such a happy pink color. Yeah, and then it does become a bit lighter. This this is quite a contender. You see a bit of the shimmer already. Kinda reminds me of which color was that? Hmm. I did just watch something that kind of looked like that. Huh. Okay, maybe my dreams, I don't know. There we go. Alright, let's go for the last one. 
Okay, this one is just rose, Detriment is rose. Okay, there's some shimmer, by some I mean a lot in this one. So I wanna make sure that I um, shake it up properly. There's so much in under. Yeah, see it? My hands are so dirty from all the inking that I've been doing. Okay. I don't know, I think it's a super heavily shimmerified ink. All right, let's open it up. Let's dip that in. Okay, it's quite a bit of bubbling happening. But all right. Oh, wow. That's a lot of shimmer. Come and watch. It's getting a bit dark where I am. I think it's going to rain. Okay. That's a bit dark. It's very thin in terms of color. Yeah, but there's a lot of shimmer. Okay. I don't know. I feel like it's bit too thin, bit too wet. Okay, and this spot on the 6th of December, 2022. It's like it's almost no color. It's just like a whole lot of gold shimmer. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Maybe when it dries, it'll look better. Oh, I know. I'm going to try it on my coloring. Okay, I'm going to let that go first. Then, where's my coloring? Okay, I seem to have lost my coloring. Oh, here it is. Okay. Detrimentous Rose. Okay, let's see how this looks. On the coloring. Put that aside. All right. Let's watch it. Hmm. That's just put a bit more there. Oh wow. It is getting a bit drier now. And if you oh sorry. There we go. It's getting a bit drier now. If you look at it. It has a bit more shimmer. It doesn't show so much in the coloring, so I'm just gonna shake the vial and just put a little more. Okay, you don't see me doing that, but yeah. Okay. Tremendous. Let me just zoom out so you see. Okay, let me write rose. So it's really a very rose gold sort of ink with a very thin, oh wow. It's a whole lot of shimmer. I just put it in the water and ah, the water just had a lot of shimmer in it. Okay. When it dries, it seems as if all the shimmer is coming out. And it becomes a bit darker. Okay, it's quite a nice color. But a bit too much on the shimmer thin side for me. Like if I need to write something, I need people to be able to read it. So I guess this is good for like painting and for putting accents, I suppose, but not very much for writing. It's a bit too wet and it sort of spreads out in feathers. All right, uh, so those are the three inks that I got from Inkshare ID. In the next video, I'll be sharing with you the um, 
free inks and ink samples that I've been receiving from the same place and my other favorite shop on Tokopedia in Jakarta. But for now, we're going to pause if you'd like to see more ink explorations and more ink checks like this. Do subscribe. Leave your comments below. I don't know if you have the Caveco Red. Which one would you get for it? I'm thinking either the pink champagne, it's sort of growing on me, or the troublemaker dragon fruit. They both look like really good colors. Okay, tell me what your preference is. And um, if you have other suggestions, of course, you're welcome to make them. This is Kai from Kikai Craft. I will see you in the next explorations. Bye.